free, I guess, uh, minister a little bit. Let him back me up, hallelujah, or whatever. But uh, I ministered uh, a little bit last night at our church, and, and uh, I just want to share with you what God gave to me. And, and I'm a little bit uh, different kind of minister uh, than my mom and all them. And he was talking about my family. Uh, he was talking about the singing birds. That is my family. And then my mom and sister, we all have been ministering for years. And mainly I was just singing. And I've been real bashful. I always stood behind and sing. Amen. And I didn't get out there. And, and I just made the same one song. If they could get me to do that, that was doing something. But I usually just maybe play the bass or help them sing. Amen. I didn't uh, get out there in the front very much. And, and my sister, she would uh, exhort. My mom, she preached for years. And I don't know if you know my family or not. But anyway, if you do, you know how we, how we minister. But uh they was always in the forefront, amen, and I was always kind of back and bashful, and I didn't say a whole lot. If they got me to sing one song by myself or lead a song, that was doing a whole lot, but uh, God got to using me and uh, testifying a little bit, and I didn't say a whole lot, but I even testified. I just said, I'm glad to be here and glad, you know, love the Lord and all that, and, and then uh, we got to church, and Brother Johnny started pastoring the church, and God started using, just started using me a little at a time, amen, and, and uh, you know, I, I would I just love the Lord with all my heart, amen. And I was just after God's own heart, just like David said, he's after God's own heart, but after one God's eye, amen. And, and I just wanted God to use me so much, and amen. But I was so bashful that I didn't want to get up and do anything because I was afraid if I'd done something, it would be the wrong thing, amen. Have you ever been there, you know, you spray, you know, you might just do something that maybe didn't work out wrong and wouldn't be the right thing, amen. Or, and, and then, you know, God would be ashamed of you or, or, or something, you would do something that just wouldn't just be the right thing, amen. But that's the way the devil is. He wants to get you out there and, and, and tell you that you're not worthy and you're not good enough. And, and, and you know, whatever you do for God, hallelujah, is good enough for God. Amen. Live as much as God is in it. Amen. Hallelujah. And God, uh, He uses you no matter if you're a youth or if you're a mature and an adult, whatever. If you're willing, amen, to be used of God, He'll use you. Amen. Praise God, and we have to grow in this thing. It, it don't come up just all at once, don't you, amen? But you have to grow in it. Hallelujah, when you get born again, how you get forgiven, amen, and you're unskillful. Hallelujah, but whenever you get, start to grow in Jesus, amen, and uh, when you start out, you get to the sincere milk of the Lord, amen, but then you become a where you can eat the manna from heaven, and you get a little bit of the meat of the Word, amen, and then you start maturing. Hallelujah, and you get stronger. Hallelujah, when you get the me, and then you start becoming more skillful. Hallelujah, and then you can uh, uh, become a great contender. Hallelujah, and just like they do when they go out to, to fight big battles, amen, uh, uh, maybe in boxing rings or uh, wrestling matches and things like this. Uh, hallelujah, they can start to become great contenders, uh, amen, uh, in these uh, boxing matches and things, and, and we uh, get into the, the battlefield for the Lord, amen, there's a battlefield, an army, a soldier in God's army, amen, we get out of boot camp, amen, and become a great soldier in God's army, amen, and praise God, uh, and when we get born again and confess that Jesus Christ is uh, the Lord and Savior of our lives, uh, then we become a, a soldier in God's army, amen, and he equips you, amen, with the instruments or the weapons that we need to fight this war, to win the battle. Hallelujah. And, and, in, and the second Corinthians 10 and 4 tells us, uh, for the weapons of our warfare, uh, warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, of casting down imaginations to every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to, to the obedience of Christ and, and having in a readiness uh, to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled so that we know that we are in warfare. Amen. How many know tonight that we are in warfare and there is a work to be done? Hallelujah. We just can't sit on a, a pew. Amen. But there's something to be done. When you get born again, amen, God has got something for you to do. Amen. Praise God. Uh, our vessels are all Arm, hallelujah, to be in a, a conflict, a conflict between this flesh, amen, and the spirit. Hallelujah, praise God. And we we have hostilities in our soul as to which will prevail, brother. And I'll tell you which one will prevail. It's whichever one's the strongest. And if we feed our spirit, man, our soul, the word of God, if we diligently seek God, hallelujah, we get in there and read our word and we pray and we seek God's face and we keep that inner man, our soul, hallelujah, with God daily, amen. That's the one that's going to win. But if we let our spirit man go down and we don't pray and seek God and we lay out a 
church uh, and we don't come of uh, hallelujah, praise God, and assemble ourselves. He said, not forsake the assembly of yourself in the days that you see approaching. And we just let our uh, spirit man uh, die out and we feed the flesh and do whatever the flesh wants and we pass them out of the flesh and, and do whatever it wants and we take uh, let the flesh take control and, and have more of thought to the, the worldly things out there, the natural things, the material things of this life. Then the flesh is going to win. Amen. So uh, we have uh, thoughts in our mind that, are, uh, that we know uh, what which one's going to win. Amen. But we have to be a contender and, and, and feed the, the spiritual things. Hallelujah. Uh, the word. Amen. And, and give it to give it all what God wants it to have. Amen. And Ephesians 6 and 12 also tells us that we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against the principalities, uh, against powers, against rulers of darkness, uh, against this world and spiritual weakness in high places. Uh, uh, but uh, we shall contend, and to contend means that we will fight uh, and struggle, and we will assert strongly. Hallelujah. We shall proclaim that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. How many can tell uh, uh, people that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world? But so many times, amen, we let the world get greater in us than right. what Jesus is. Amen. Can you amen. say it many times? Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> A lot of times we let the world be greater in us than what Jesus can be. Hallelujah. Because of the flesh. Hallelujah. We give in to the flesh. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. But the battle's not ours. It's Jesus Christ. He said, the battle's not ours, but it's mine. Hallelujah. And we'll let God fight the battle through us. Amen. We'll be a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God gives us weapons. Hallelujah. That we can fight this war. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he'll give us the, the weapons to ward off and attack from the enemy or to defeat uh, the enemy if we're already under attack. Amen. And the weapons of, of a great contender, number one, is the name of Jesus. Amen. Proverbs tells us uh, in 1411, hallelujah, for it is written, as I live, said the Lord, ever knee shall bow yes. to me, and ever tongue shall yes. confess to God. You hallelujah. see, when David went out against Goliath, Goliath said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest against me with staffs? I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and tell the beast of, unto the, the beast of the field. But David, he was a great contender. Hallelujah. Now, he might not have looked like a great contender because the, all the odds was against him. Amen. And you look at him with a natural eye. David was just a youth. Amen. David was of a fair countenance and he didn't look the, the part. He didn't look like no warrior. Amen. Hallelujah. He didn't have the bruised armor on. Saul tried again to put his armor on, but he didn't fit to. Hallelujah. So he didn't have the bruised armor on. He didn't have the helmet of brass on his head. He didn't have the coat of mail. And he didn't have his sword. Amen. He only had a staff and a vial of smooth rocks and a shepherd's bag and a sling. Oh, honey, but that he was still a contender for God. Hallelujah. It don't matter what you look like, brother. It don't matter, hallelujah, what people think about you. Hallelujah. It's just what you got in your heart. Hallelujah. You got Jesus in your heart. Hallelujah. You can be a great contender for God. And you've got the faith to believe what Jesus said. You can win the battle. Amen. Hallelujah. But David told him, he said, Thou comest to me with a sword and a spear and a shield. And I come to thee in the name of the Lord. The Lord of hosts. Amen. The Lord of hallelujah. And the God of the armies of Israel whom thou hast defined. Hallelujah. David, he defied the natural eye. Hallelujah. Took the challenge. Amen. That nobody else wanted to take. Hallelujah. Are you ready to take a challenge tonight? Hallelujah. Are you going to dare to be different and defend the people? Hallelujah. And defend your faith. Hallelujah. David defended the name of Jesus. He defended the name of his God. And he said, uh, uh, God delivered that enemy right into his hand. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I tell you what, the Bible said in the name of Jesus, uh, every knee is going to bow down, every tongue is going to confess. And that's Goliath. He bowed down at his, David's feet. Amen. And, and, and David cut his head off. Amen. Hallelujah. Five smooth stones. Hallelujah. He only took one, amen, to bring him down. But 
he comes down in the name of Jesus. He said, I come to you in the name of the Lord. Yeah. That's one of our weapons that we can use. Oh. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's one of our weapons that the devil cannot come up against. And we'll just use the name of Jesus against it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many will take the challenge? In the name of Jesus. How many of them will resist the authority of this world and dare to be different in a world of compromise? How many will stand as a great contender and defend your faith today? Hallelujah. I know this world gets evil and seems like everything that the Bible is against, the world wants to turn it around. Hallelujah. And say it's okay. Hallelujah. But we got to stand against it. Amen. If the Bible's against it. We got to be against it. Amen. Hallelujah. How many will continue to maintain their battleground for God and justify their cause to death? Hallelujah. We have a lot of people from other countries that I don't know, maybe there's some in this country. They will, they will go out just like they did with the twin tires. They will fly their planes right into the twin tires and kill their own self to defend what they believe in. How many of us is going to stand up? and defend them. the name of Jesus and our faith till death do us part. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise